The massive blast set off a series of explosions, sending munitions flying and shattering windows and buildings. Some explosions were so strong they were felt up to 20 kilometers away. And they continued into the night. Thousands of tons of excess ammunition burning up on the outskirts of the Albanian capital, Tirana. The explosions are thought to have begun when a US military team and local soldiers were dismantling munitions stored at an army base. The only thing that we can see is just from the surroundings, you know, a few kilometers from, from the village where the depot, the ammunition depot, where all the reserves from all the, from the past communist ammunition that were gathered, collected there, and they were a contractor, an American company, which was, was trying to do with the Albanian army to disseminate this, all these massacres, all the Russian ones, and then suddenly they exploded. Hospitals are inundated with injured people, including children, from nearby villages. Many are suffering from burns, broken limbs and shrapnel wounds. The Prime Minister, Sali Berisha, has been visiting the injured. He said the number of dead is considerable. The emergency services haven't yet been able to reach the core of the site because it's too dangerous. So the full picture won't be clear for some time. Amabwateng, Al Jazeera.